G'day everyone. I thought I'd just do a quick video on how to polish the guitar frets on your guitar. Um, it's part of the ritual that I go to when I change the strings, I polish the frets. And if you're new to um, guitaring, you, you might be sort of thinking, oh, it's just another step and, um, you know, I couldn't be bothered with it. Changing the strings is hard enough as it is, but it's well worth taking the extra 15 minutes to do this step because when your frets are particularly corroded, uh, it kind of slows down the action of your um, fingers rubbing uh, along the frets. When they're polished, they're smooth and they just glide across the top. Um, uh, yeah, it just makes the guitar much more pleasurable to play. So it's, it's really easy to do. Um, you just need a couple of things. Uh, I use this um, super fine um, steel wool, um, uh, 4-0. The grade is 4-0, which is super fine. Um, and you need some tape, and I use electrical tape. Um, I find that works works quite well. Uh, I used to use sellotape, but I found it was a bit aggressive on some of the guitars. If the neck um, is kind of varnished, it kind of rips off a bit of the varnish, and obviously you don't want that. Um, but this stuff's a lot less um, aggressive and um, works quite well. And just a cloth to um, uh, either like a Chuck's um, white uh, cloth or a um, guitar polishing cloth. So to do this, you just got to cut a length of tape. Don't ask why I'm doing this on the floor. It's a long story. I obviously don't do this on the floor usually, but um, just doing it for this video. Just cut a piece um, of tape. So yeah, you'd be putting it over the, the fret like that. But before you do that, um, just put it on your hand and um, just rub it. And then just pull it off and then put it on your hand again and rub it. And you just want to try and um, make the back of it less tacky. One other thing too, sort of a word of caution, um, if you're gonna use electrical tape or any tape for that matter, um, don't leave it on the neck and um, come back to it in a couple of days time because the adhesive might actually start bonding with the neck and um, you obviously don't want that. So basically you just want a, a um, piece of tape now that's um, less tacky. So just keep doing it until it's, you know, a bit softer and, um, and then um, you should be right to go. And you'll need two, two pieces of those. So you're just putting the tape on either side of the fret just to just to um, protect the protect the fingerboard from um, scratches from the steel wool, and you don't need to like rub it down really hard. You just you're just putting it lightly across the top. It'll end up sticking a bit um, once you start rubbing the um, the steel wool on top of it anyway. So just put one on each side just to protect the board there, and then just take a small bit of your um, steel wool like that, and um, you're just giving it a bit of a rub. Now depending on how corroded the the your frets are if you haven't done it for a few years or for longer it's probably it's, they're probably going to be really dull and maybe a bit gray and they might need to be rubbed quite a bit and you'll see a really big difference after you finish um polishing them they'll be shiny they should be shiny and silky you put rub your finger across it and that should be silky and um, just compare it to the ones that you haven't done and you'll see that it's much um it's much slipperier and um it's better for um you know, obviously when you're playing the guitar, it makes it much more easier to play and it's more pleasurable to play, I think. So just do that until they are shiny. There's no point rubbing the hell out of it. If it's shiny, it's done. Um, just keep checking it because, you you know, you don't want to over-polish the, the frets either. If you do this every time you um, change the strings and you change the strings regularly, um, you're going to start wearing down your frets pretty fast if you're, you know, aggressively rubbing into them. So you just give them a bit of a polish. And then just check it in the light and make sure that it's all nice and shiny. And then that's it. Just gently remove the tape and move on to the next one. One other thing I like to do actually before I move on to the next fret is to just give it a rub with the um, polishing cloth. Cloth. It's it's kind of like the way I see it is it's kind of like when you um uh, when you sand wood. You know you use a heavy grit and you go to a lighter grit and it gets it gets smoother as you go down. Um, it's yeah, it's kind of like a second sort of polish, and give it a good, good um, hard rub with the um, with the polishing cloth. So that's it. It's really easy to do, and um, it's part. It's almost an essential step as far as I'm concerned. When I change the strings, I give the frets a polish, and just makes the guitar so much more enjoyable to play. Particularly if you haven't done it for a long time, you'll notice a big difference, and it's well worthwhile doing. 
So that's it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.